guys, it's Rhiannon from RMHR. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is super, super exciting. Oh my god. Because I am starting a new piece today, uh, a new piece for the Self Love series. So today's uh, video is I'm going to be doing like a walkthrough uh, of my process of the painting and just showing you guys how I approach my paintings, what I'm thinking, how I pick colors and that sort of thing. So yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, click that like and let me know what you think down below. I'd like to know if you guys uh, want more videos like this or if you enjoyed it. The next lady I'm painting, her name is Samphire. We're gonna get cracking on that in a sec. So uh, the first thing that I do when I am going to be starting a painting is, uh, so the photo that I am using, I will make sure that it fits the size of the canvas. So I go into Photoshop on the computer and I will um, bring up a size of the canvas and pop the photo on there and just so that I can see how it's gonna sit on the canvas. I never actually used to do this much before I went to start a painting, uh, when I, before I went to start painting on the canvas, but because a lot of these paintings have white backgrounds, um, if you, you know, paint too far one side and then you've got to like clean up that extra paint, um, with it, the backgrounds being quite light uh, or being white, uh, they it just, it's a lot of paint to recover that up. So I'm um, just trying to make things like more efficient and easier for myself. Okay, and so now that I've got the image on my phone, the next thing uh, I do as well is I actually don't paint from um, colored photos. I convert the photo to black and white um, and it just helps me establish like the values of painting for where I'm gonna be putting colors. Like uh, it just makes everything so much easier. So I have put some colors out. Let's get cracking. Um, I know this is only the start of the video, but if you do, if you guys do hang around to the end, I'd love to know if more goes into doing a painting than what you thought. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's always, like when someone does something, it always looks like it's a lot more simpler and like more straightforward than um, I guess when you're in their head. Um, well, I always find that, you know, like for example, but if I look at Pinterest and I see cupcakes, and I try and make those beautiful cupcakes. They just come out atrocious. <laughs> uh, so we also want a rag. Oh, this is they're just towels that I use for painting. We want some bowls. And I want a flat one. Yeah, so I just use plates, got the hairdryer. So this is not all the paint I own, um, definitely not. But uh, this is the main colors that I'm using at the moment. And obviously I don't use every tube of this and every painting. Okay, so I've got some paints uh, down. This is obviously not all the paint that I'll use. This is just a starting point. So I have a theme with the Self Love series. I'm using, um, you know, like pinks and all that sort of thing because I want the paintings to sort of be like, you know, they're a collection, they're cohesive, that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, I bought this apron the other day. I'm not sure what I think yet. I feel like I look a bit strange. <laughs> but I just don't want to damage any of my clothes <laughs> any more than I have. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to do uh, a little sketch on here, uh, just the outline. Uh, and this just helps me, um, it just makes it a bit quicker and a, le a lot less messier later. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the background. But I imagine that uh, I will be keeping it sort of similar to the other paintings where it's quite light, uh, the paint is quite uh, bright overall. Okay, so I'm about to start painting, and when I start to do a painting, um, I don't like to go into the start with too much thought about the end product or, you know, how I want a piece to look. I, to be honest, at this stage, when I first started painting, I have no idea uh, how I want a piece to look, how I want it to turn out. Um, so this, this first bit is just really quite playful, just fun, just putting colour down and having a bit of a mess about and, yeah, not worrying about too much. Uh, one thing I will say that I do is um, a lot of times I'll go in with a colour with a, like a light wash, like a watered down paint and I shall put that over um, the woman's body and this just eliminates all the white uh, or the negative space in the painting so that when I do come back in, um, you know, in many layers and that it's all blocked in, all the white's blocked in um, and that way the contrast and the values of the paint doesn't look um, different uh, when I eventually do cover up all that white. So it's just best to cover up all the white space now and, and then move into the painting. So um, I might block in like some slight values but nothing too crazy. I'm just having fun at this stage. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have laid down a light wash. 
and um, this is quite watery so um, I don't want to actually be applying uh, paint on this uh, at this stage so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hair dryer out and I'm going to dry this um, so I can move on uh, to the next stage and the really cool thing that I like about this stage is even though a lot of this won't actually be showing uh, with the final painting um, some pieces I, I do some pieces I don't just you know uh, just how it is um, is that you get some really cool like effects and like just different things in there um, yeah it gives me like a nice um, fun surface to work with rather than just a blank canvas and when you have a blank canvas sometimes it can be just so daunting um, you know as, as to put paint down so um, I'm gonna blow dry this and um, we'll get cracked into the next layer uh, I hope this isn't too much talking in this video. I guess you guys wanted to know my process, so um, it, you know there is a little bit that goes into it. So what I'm going to be doing with the next layer is what I do is I look at the photo and I see where all the dark areas in the photo are, so the dark shadows, you know, um, and I shall get uh, like darker paint and start blocking in those areas where the dark shadows are and uh, where you know it's lighter in a painting. That's so where you know the light's hitting someone's face or hitting their body. Um, you know, I will come in and just start going over those areas with like a, a lighter paint. Um, yeah, so we just block out like a like a bunch of the painting and yeah, see what we come up with come up with uh, next. And yeah, so again with these uh, early stages in the paintings, I don't like to be too. Uh, I don't like to be too rigid. I just sort of like throw the paint, uh, throw the paint on, slap it around, have a bit of fun with it. I don't like to be too rigid because I find if I get rigid now, um, I get stuck in my paintings as it progresses. So um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, also, I, can you guys please let me know like if this video was actually interesting to watch? I'm worried that it's going to be really boring or no one's going to find it interesting at all. So <laughs> uh, just let me know down in the comments, pretty please. Yes, the painting looks very scary. <laughs> okay, so at this point in the painting, um, yep, my paintings that always look absolutely scary. I'm scared. I'm pretty sure anyone that watches is scared. Like, um, so yeah, it's just at the moment because um, I haven't been painting long, uh, as you just would have seen. Um, it's just about blocking colors, and as I do this, because I just do that rough sketch at the start. I'm not someone that likes to sit there and be meticulous about sketches and be like super like. No, that's, that's just not how I do things. Um, as you can tell, I like to be messy and just go with the flow. Um, so as I keep blocking in colors, I'll keep checking my reference photo and just um, looking at uh, the position of the woman and looking at the proportions of her body and everything like that and just tweaking things as I go. I just constantly tweak things. I never, um, yeah, just like work on one area. It's just like a constant tweaking. And yeah, so as you can see, um, I have blocked in like some darker areas, so like her hair, the lines around her arms and everything like that, creases in her leg, her hands, and then you know, the shadows under her neck. So I wish I could show you the photo because it would make more sense. Now what I'm going to do, and this is just what I do with every painting, is that I will just keep doing this 
Um, as you can see, like, I would like you to imagine like a sun up here and then looking down, there's never like such a, a contrast between the shadows. And so like what I'll come, what I'll do now is come through with like, you know, a mid-tone color and just keep evening out these shadows and just keep working on the painting and just keep developing it. This point of the painting, I just let the painting sort of go at its own pace. So it'll, it'll start revealing itself to me as I keep uh, working it and, and that sort of thing. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so it's, it's still like at the early stages of the painting, obviously. And so yeah, it's just about having fun, uh, being free, letting loose, um, and yeah, just just pretty much having fun with it. That's the name of the game. So we'll get back to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna dry it off again with the hairdryer. I don't want the colors getting too muddy now. It's just a per personal preference. So yeah, as you can see, they are quite muddy. They're all over the place. Just get the hairdryer and dry that up a bit. Uh, another thing I like to do as well uh, when I'm painting and say if I'm just not sure about how it's looking, because sometimes if I stare at it too long, which always happens because I'll paint for hours, is to take a photo of it and to look at the painting uh, through the phone. And that actually gives me a lot more clarity sometimes when I'm looking at the painting and like, you know, proportion, everything like that. Um, and just things that are sticking out that I can't see when I'm looking at the painting sometimes. It's the next day. I've just done a little bit and completely forgot about talking to you guys. So I've just gone in with some oil pastels. They're like my favorite thing ever. Yeah, so I've just gone in with some oil pastels and I've uh, just done a little bit of highlights, just a little bit of texture, a little bit of something different. I love oil pastels. I just think they're the most amazing thing ever. Um, okay, so what I am doing now, as you can see, still pretty scary, but we are getting something that looks more like a painting, even though her face and like everything still looks um, a bit scary, but you can slowly see something emerging. And, and this is part of my favorite part in the painting um, because it's like you're pulling um, that painting out from nowhere. And so what I'm gonna do now is, I don't want it to be so much pink. Um, I will, I'm going a little more. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so I've just pulled out a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple and, well, yes, some pink. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just have a play around. And again, the same thing as what I said earlier when, um, you know, I'm approaching the painting. So these, uh, I'm not really sure if you can see them. Um, well, I don't think you can really see them. As I said earlier, just laying down the colors where, uh, say if there's a light spot in the in the photo, um, then I'm gonna lay down a light color there. If there's a dark spot in the photo, then I'm gonna lay down a dark color um, on the painting. So I'm going to go through uh, with the blue, and 
how I get so many different bits of colors um, floating through the painting and so it's not just like huge blocks of color is I just add little bits here and there little bits here and there and so by the end of the painting what you'll see is like many layers um, that I've done you know over the process of the painting poking through not always they won't always um, you know it won't you won't see the whole layer of what I've done otherwise well, I could stop the painting like about six hours ago. <laughs> but yeah, it's just lots of little layers and just molding. So um, with this stage as well, um, obviously like her body proportions, like I mean, you can see her hand, I've never seen a hand look like that in my life. Um, so yeah, it's just still about molding the painting and just refining it and just getting the proportions and everything um, happening. So this is where the painting starts to slowly start coming together um, as I just keep working on it and yeah. So I am happy with how it's coming along. I do think it's going to be a beautiful painting. Uh, I can't wait to, to finish it and see what it looks like. So, so we're going to do some more. Uh, I'm not too worried about the background just yet. If anything, um, I will come in with some white paint and just start tidying up um, some of the edges, like some of the colours. But to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to have much in the background. I might, I'm thinking about having a little bit in the background. I don't know yet. I just sort of see how the painting keeps progressing before I start doing that. I just might tidy up some of the, like in here, and I'm not sure you can see that. Um, like you know these lines like just might make them a bit more faint so they're not so bold and in your face and um, whiten up this bit sort of just tidy up around her body a bit so I can see um, more of her proportions and she stands out a lot more and it also helps me determine you know uh, what I want to do uh, with the painting as well yeah that's what we're doing And the thing to remember with each layer is, um, so when I put down a new layer, most of the times it actually makes it look like it makes it look like the painting is actually uh, not. Instead of getting better, the painting is actually starting to look more scary. But it's just, I think like this is what sort of how I've um, I approach my paintings is I just have faith in the process and just have fun and just yeah, I just I guess have faith that it's going to turn out. Um, awesome and if it doesn't it doesn't but as long as you're enjoying that process and and not worrying about the end result too much um, that's when you know paintings come out the best because you're not as soon as I get a message but uh, you're not worried about the end process and then you know so um, you are just in the moment
Okay, so I've been working uh, on the painting for a fair bit again today. I'll show you guys what I have. So this is what I have so far. Um, and there's still a fair bit to go. Um, I've got to obviously tidy up her hand. I want to get rid of it, like um, make those drips and these drips a little bit more um, transparent. Tidy up the background and that obviously. I need to go through and just like um, change the shape of her arm a bit and just, yeah, obviously I've still got a lot of work to do in here. Still work to do on her face to make it look more like her, but it's definitely coming along. Her hand looks really rigid. Um, just a few things. I'm really happy with how this leg looks here. I'm really loving that. And I do like, I do like, I like, I'm very happy with what I've got done so far. I'm really loving it. Yeah, I'd love to know what you guys are thinking so far. So pretty much what I'm going to do is, so this is a workstation down here. <laughs> Uh, I've got some oil pastels down here, so I might go through there um, and just do a little bit of some oil pastels Just mix it up a little bit. This is my palette palettes down here. So as you can see like I just Yeah, pretty messy when I paint to be honest <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna go through with some more colors um, and just keep refining Refining her. So what I do um, is the same honestly It's like the same process the whole way through just you know, at the start, it's a lot more looser. I'm not too worried about where things go. And as like the piece gets more uh, polished and gets closer towards the end, which obviously this painting's still got a fair bit to go, just keep looking at the, the photo and just keep adjusting things and adjusting colors and that. So, you know, I want the shadow on her neck to be uh, more pronounced here. You know, it's a bit jagged, like just tidying things up. Um, you know, I want that to be a darker line here. So, you know, it brings the arm out more. At the moment, like it's like this, what this lighter color here, um, the contrast between these two, so it brings the arm forward. But if I bring a darker, um, like just a small line um, along here, it'll bring it forward even more. And what I'll do is I'll lighten up some of this area of her breast as well. Um, and yeah, it'll just pop this arm out more, which will actually help the arm. Oh, just knock my phone over. Which actually help the arm uh, come forward more, which is how um, her position is as well. So definitely got some more to do. I'm not happy with this area here. I'll just keep working that and yeah. So definitely a fair bit more to do. I'm really happy with how she's coming along though. Uh, I would love to know, uh, yeah, if, <laughs> what you, I guess, I guess what you guys are thinking um, or if, if you guys like this sort of video. I'm not sure how helpful I am. Uh, I guess I don't really think too much. Like I have like a process when I paint, but I don't really, it's not like a step-by-step -step, um, sort of process. It's more of like an intuitive sort of process and just, um, yeah, it's just all about building layers and just constantly molding and, and that sort of thing. So I really do hope this was like interesting, helpful in some way. Obviously we're not finished yet. Keep working on her. I probably won't get her finished today, I don't think. There's still a fair bit to do. But yeah, definitely happy with the progress today. Day two. Woo!
Hey guys, so it's definitely been a little bit since I have worked on this painting. Uh, to be honest, it's probably been like a week. So I am going to be working on it a little bit more today and getting it sorted. Wow, the lighting in here is absolutely awful. I want to get uh, some good lights uh, to just screw to the roof so it's just constantly lit up really nice. Um, the lighting in here is really awful. Anyway, um, so yeah, so today um, as you guys have seen the piece come together, I'm sort of summarizing it for myself. Um, so today I'm just going to keep uh, finessing things. So there's still a fair bit that I want to do, like down here in her torso, not happy with that in there. Um, it's still, yeah, just really need a lot of work in there. Um, some more work on her neck, I'm um, just going to kick it in a little bit there. Tidy up in the white sections where um, it's just a bit washy and the lines aren't clean. I'm going to go over the drips a bit more, make them a bit more tra uh, transparent. And uh, the big thing I'm going to do is to work on her face. While I absolutely love how her face looks right now, I do want to make it more like um, uh, Sam Fire, who is the lady uh, th that this is like based off. It's her photo that she sent in. So that's what we're going to do. There isn't like a huge amount of work left in this painting now. Um, now it's just all the fine details. Um, that I need to keep doing and just molding so I'll kick uh, it in here a little bit too uh, it's just little details where this is the point in the painting where I'll have a look at the photo and I'll just keep looking at the painting and just just seeing that there's little things that make um, the painting look more realistic uh, and more like the uh, original photo um, and another thing that I think I mentioned earlier on that I do is I'll take a photo of the painting, I'll look at the photo that I've taken because it just helps, it gives you fresh eyes looking through like a your phone or something like that because after a while you just sort of, you can't really see it properly. So I like to do that quite often throughout the painting process. Um, and then another great thing to do, um, so it's to look at the photo of the painting that you've got on your phone and then to also switch over and have a look at the original uh, photo that you're painting from um, and it's very easy to see uh, differences and that sort of thing. So um, that's what we're doing. I'm pretty tired today, um, just pretty tired in general at the moment, life's a bit crazy but I've got some time for painting so let's go.
Okay, it's very apparent to me looking at this camera that I look like a mess today. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you guys what I've been doing. Okay, so this is the lady. And so what I've just been doing now is obviously her hand looks like a disaster, but I've just been coming in and cutting out the shapes of her fingers and that by looking at the photo. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry to be able to come through and do the next layer. There's quite a bit of work to be done there. I haven't really done much the whole of the time of painting. Um, so I went over this um, area here and so these drips, they're very, a lot more faint now. Um, same as with the drip from a hand down there. I still want them there but I just don't want them as uh, rich. So I've just been tidying up this line here so as you can see I've still got a bit um, to do in there. Like you can see the background of where I've just previous layers of paint you can see that so I want to tidy up that a bit more. Um, I've done some more work on her hair, um, done some more work on her face and just uh, cut in the shoulder here a little bit more. It's just that, um, that was what the, the photo looks like and I've cut down uh, her hip a little bit more again. I've worked on uh, in here and in here. Still not 100% happy with it yet. This background bit here, um, I've gone over that to make it more like white white. <laughs> and as you can see, here's um, a bit of a uh, sketch uh, from earlier on, so I'll have to go over that as well. But so definitely um, looking, I'm really loving how she's looking. like. I am like really, really happy with how she's coming along. Yay. I hope you guys like her. I'd like to know in the comments if you're really scared at the start of my paintings. <laughs> if you guys have been following my channel uh, for a bit, you'll know that uh, I've said this many, many a times that uh, I'm even scared when I started painting. Um, but I've just learned uh, as I've been like painting over the last couple of years, because I think now I've been painting for like five years. But yeah, over the time that I've been painting, like just to trust and just enjoy the process, you know? Yeah, so just enjoy the process and not be worried about um, the end result. I think that's the key bit is to not worry about the end result and to just experiment and have fun. Um, and I think that's also how I came across uh, well, my style of painting as well, by just having fun and yeah, just not having expectation on the end result. So I'm really loving how she's coming along. I'm just putting it back up on the tripod. It's hard to remember what I've said in this video so far because this has been this video for this painting. Uh, obviously, this painting has taken me uh, quite a bit. Um, uh, it's hard to remember what I've said in the video, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I would love to know what you guys think. If this is like a sort of video that you would like to see, you know, a bit more of, like if I did it, you know, a couple of these here and there. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really hoping that you are loving it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, definitely uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you've liked this video so far. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep, uh, my son Lucas is, geez Louise. I might just sit down and just have a look at uh, the painting. So sometimes I do that as well. So I'll get to a point in the painting if I'm not sure uh, what to do next, which sometimes I do get like that. I get a bit stuck in a painting and you know, sometimes I'll leave it for like a week or two and sometimes like I never come back to it. Most times I do though. But yeah, so sometimes I'll just sit down, I'll grab a drink and I will just sit across the room and I will look at other things for a bit and then I will look at the painting so I've got that fresh eyes again and I'll just sit there and I'll look at things in the painting that I want to mold um, that I'm not quite happy with and um, yeah, just just have a good look because it's I think it's really important like so important um, to step back from your work and, and to have come back at it with fresh eyes. So yeah, so that's what we'll do now. I'm really happy with how it's come out though. Really happy. Definitely some things that I see that need work. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's coming. I really hope you guys like this video. Okay, so it's a bit later. Uh, I've taken a bit of a break. Uh, I thought I was finished and then I've taken a photo of the painting on my phone. And yeah, it turns out I'm not finished. Um, there's still a couple of things I'm not happy with. And that is, I want to go through and just uh, the highlighted areas, I really need to define them more. So um, I'll show you what I mean. This is the painting, and if you look at her knee, where I've got this light area, like it's really bright, and then like there's no real big highlights on her hand, her arm, here, there's a little bit there, there's some on her face, but the sort of the rest is sort of a bit lost. So it's just like a really like highlighted area where the light's hitting on her knee and then it's like the rest of her is not really getting it. So that makes not much sense at all. So I'm gonna go through and put some highlights on the hand, the arm, uh, maybe touch up this bit here as well, maybe lighten up here on the chest a little bit as well. And then I'll see what I think. I hope that makes sense. My son's in here too. He's also at the stage where he's starting to grab things, which terrifies me, <laughs> if I'm honest.
stay When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence This is Lucas! Hello! Hello everybody! Hello everybody! Oh! Oh! 